Now we're going to go in and put some basic 3D concepts into practice. Here we have three layers, the two text layers and the background video layer. I am going to convert the two text layers to 3D and leave the water as a background layer for now. Uh, we'll look at what this means in a little bit. Uh, now that I've added uh, the 3D element to the two text layers, if I open them up, I will have positions that I can go in and change or animate. Now we're also going to go over um, animating a camera, so let's just do a very kind of simple animation that keeps these elements in place. I'm going to start by, um, so I'm just going to do animate um, X and Y rotation, but before I, I do that, I just want to kind of reiterate that in terms of positioning, it's important to remember that that's what the Z element controls, the Z property. And here, uh, you can see for both layers, it, in terms of position, it starts at zero. So if we use a, a negative number there, whoops, and let's just make sure we only have one selected, then what's happening is we're dragging this towards ourselves. If we change this to a positive number, you can see we're pushing it back. So negative brings a layer towards us, positive pushes it away from us. And you can see in terms of how that affects layer order, um, everything starts at zero. If I make it negative, then I'm pushing it to the front. If I make it positive, I'm pushing it behind. I'm going to reset these with a zero, zero for now, and I'm going to change this later on. Okay, so I'm going to start by positioning my text in the kind of end position I want them to be in. So I am going to go in and do a little bit of, um, I'm going to add a keyframe for position. And I am going to add a X and Y rotation to both of these. No, actually I could probably do this with orientation, but let's do it with the X and Y rotation. So here I've got my starting keyframes and I am going to start by just kind of flattening my text with the X rotation. So I'm going to flatten that one. And I'm going to do the same effect over here. I'm going in and flattening it out so it looks like there's absolutely nothing there. And I'm just having a hard time with my laptop. There we go. So I've got the first keyframe. I'm going to make this a relatively short animation. So I'm just going to click here. Actually, we'll make it at 2. And again, I could just type in a value over here. And I'm going to animate that X rotation. So here, I'm going to, uh, actually, I'm going to stagger these a little bit. But I will do this one first. So I want to zero that out. And here, I'm just going to um, move this one to a different number. Let's make this at three seconds. Let's just make sure that's at three. Not quite. Okay. And then uh, here, I'm going to zero this out again. So both of them will come up. And what I also want to do is do at this point, maybe right here, I'm going to add another keyframe for Y rotation. Just going to make a slight change there. And I think I will also adjust the position as well. So here, I'm going to move this back a little bit. Make this value of 200. And that will give me a little distance from its original position. Okay, and uh, then I'm going to go in and on the second, second one, um, okay, so I've got the comes up, moves a little bit here. So for this one, I'm going to do the same thing. You uh, change the position slightly on this one. So I'm going to move that forward a little bit from its original position. 
And then I'm going to jump to the next keyframe where I am going to add my slight tilt. Okay, so here, add that there, and I'm just going to go in and create a little bit of a shift there. It's maybe not ideal uh, in terms of its overall positioning. Um, maybe it's something to maybe adjust this so that it falls a little bit differently. And let's see. So I have a basic 3D animation. Let me generate a RAM preview here. And it shows my text kind of moving into place and flipping up. 